Again at the weather, let's check back in with Steve with a look at the forecast. Hey, Steve. Hey there, Kelsey. Yeah, sunshine this week may be a little hard to come by here. We're going to try to pinpoint some of the days where I think it's the best chance, but it's going to be a pretty cloudy week. But out of those clouds, probably not too many actual rainy days. There are a lot of bark and a little bite here. So let's get outside and show you that live picture here from the Harbor camera. And you can see some of those low clouds and get used to the gray, kind of a Seattle like week here in terms of what it will look like outside. The sky cover gray, kind of cool feel as well. And that breeze will start to pick back up again. It kind of died off here this afternoon. That was nice, but the cooler breeze starts to pick back up here tomorrow and Tuesday. That combined with the cloudy weather definitely has more of a jacket or sweatshirt kind of feel here for Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, I think we'll at least get some sunshine. Thursday, the clouds are returning and we could see some steadier showers here by Friday. Looks like by next weekend, hopefully we do enough housekeeping with the weather. We change this pattern and get more of a ridge, which would bring in some sunshine and warmer temperatures. As far as the coastal flood concerns, they've downgraded the warning to an advisory in Anne Arundel County, which means Still expecting some coastal flooding, about a foot of water coming in here from the bay, but no longer expecting one and a half or two feet. So that's a little bit of improvement. I still wouldn't park your car in those vulnerable areas. So if you have done so, I'd move it here tonight. Here's the storm system over the past day and a half. You can see all the rain that it delivered, and it did chip away in some areas of the rainfall deficits. For instance, in Baltimore, down below three inches for uh, below average for the year. Now, Hagerstown, we're almost seven and a half inches below average, so still way below there. Uh, in Salisbury, almost six and three quarters of an inch, and down near the district or southern suburbs, five inches below. So we still are below average, but we're a little bit less severe than where we were before we started the weekend. This kind of rainfall will not really chip away at those numbers. Friday, we have a decent shot of some showers moving on in here. May start as early as late Thursday. I think the bigger story here, though, this week is jacket and sweatshirt weather here. Our temperatures only in the 60s for much of the time, mornings in the 50s. That's how you're starting off tomorrow morning in the 50s and low 60s. Plan for tomorrow, a lot of gray, probably a few sprinkles later in the day. And your high temperatures, we only gain about six or seven degrees tomorrow. So the spread between the morning and the afternoon, not too great. Here's the future radar. Notice the sprinkles and showers building in tomorrow evening. And then I think Tuesday we have the better shot of showers around here, especially in the morning hours and maybe even into the afternoon and evening hours. So we'll be watching that here. But that's really the only weather system on board. We get that nice break Wednesday and Thursday, thankfully so, because we have the Orioles back in town here. Important games here uh, for them if you're attending. So showers on Friday, that's likely. And then if everything works out, we have a nice weekend next weekend. Kelsey, over to you. All right, Steve, thank you.